In this video, we're going to discover what simultaneous equations are and how to solve them. Simultaneous equations are two or more equations with two or more unknowns. They're called simultaneous because they need to be solved at the exact same time. There are three different methods we can use to solve simultaneous equations. We can solve them graphically and see where they cross each other. But this is really slow and actually only works if they cross at an exact point. The other two methods involve solving algebraically by elimination or by substitution. In this video, we're going to discover how to use elimination. Solving simultaneous equations by elimination only works when we have linear equations. So equations that look like this, with an x and a y. No x squareds or y squareds. Let's get started with an example. We start by lining the two equations up, one on top of the other, with the x's, the y's and the numbers all lined up. We now need to eliminate either our x's or our y's. Hence the method is called elimination. This means that we need to have an equal number of one of those letters. Luckily for us, in this example, there are two y's already in both equations. So we can eliminate these straight away. We're going to either add or subtract the equations. Looking back at our matching two y's, if the signs are the same, we subtract. Just remember, same sign subtract, s, s, s. Here, the signs are different. This one is plus two y, and the other is minus 2y. So we add the two equations. 5x add 3x is 8x, plus 2y add minus 2y is 0. So we've eliminated the y's. 18 add minus 2 is 16. So 8x equals 16. Solve for x, so divide both sides by 8, and x is 2. Now we need to find the corresponding y value. Choose either one of the starting equations. So I'm going to choose the top one. Substitute x is 2 into this equation. 5 multiplied by 2 add 2y equals 18. And solve the equation. 2y equals 8, y equals 4. So when x is 2, y is 4. This is the solution to these simultaneous equations. It's then really important to check our answers. So we need to substitute 2, 4 back into the other equation, into this equation. 3 times 2 minus 2 times 4 equals negative 2. So 6 minus 8 is negative 2, which is correct. That's all there is to it. Much faster than having to plot the graphs. Let's have a look at another example. So we start by lining the two equations up, which means we'll need to rearrange the bottom equation to become 5x plus 3y equals 11. Now to eliminate either our x's or our y's. We need to have an equal number of either x's or y's, which we don't have. So we're going to have to multiply the whole equations to match up one of these letters. I'm going to multiply everything in the top equation by 3 to get 6y, and everything in the bottom equation by 2 to also get 6y. Maybe you wanted to match up your x's instead. So you could have multiplied the top equation all by 5 and the bottom equation all by 3. It makes no difference. You'll still get the same answers. So back to having 6y in both. Now to eliminate. Remember, same sign subtract. Both are plus 6y, so we subtract the equations. 
9x minus 10x is minus 1x, plus 6y minus 6y is 0. 18 minus 22 is minus 4. Solve for x means x is 4. Can you now find the corresponding y value by substituting x is 4 into one of the original equations? Pause the video, find y, and click play when you're ready. Did you get y is negative 3? And did you check 4 negative 3 was correct? So here's one for you to do. I'll leave the steps on screen to help you. Pause the video, solve for x and y, and click play when you're ready. Did you get negative 1, 2? So there we have solving simultaneous equations by elimination. You just need to remember, same sign, subtract, S, S, S. This works perfectly for linear equations, but won't work if there's a quadratic involved, for example. For that, we have to use substitution. Watch this video to discover how.